sweet 16, they going. Washington, D.C., they flowing. Flowin'. Getting down, getting up. They won the game, so what's up? what's up? They the Canes, they ain't playing all day. They stayin', ATL is where they tryna get to The final four, get rings, them two They the main team, doing they thing Going back Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Chris, thanks for stopping by We've got a huge game coming up But first, if you could like and subscribe to the channel, that'd be great Definitely appreciate all the support So here we are we are in the Sweet 16, it had two huge upsets, Iowa's coming off an upset against San Diego State, we are going with the same starting five, Chris Likes and DJ and Cameron McGusty and the big guys up front, so we've got a huge matchup against Luca Garza, but they've got a lot of solid players, Iowa had a good season, the crowd is hyped, I feel confident in this game. And we have got a tough matchup today against Iowa, Luca Garza is an All-American He's going to give us trouble. He can score inside and out. He's tough. He can rebound. And we need to double team him every single time. I can't believe we're really here, though. Cameron McGusty has been huge. He's averaging over 20 points a game for us. Chris Likes has been good. And I, here's Garza. We have got to stop him. Let's, let's get three guys there. Oh, my goodness. He made that. This is going to be tough. I don't know what else to do if he's going to make that shot. We just have to make sure on the offensive end down here, we need to get good shots, swing the ball around, and shoot with our shooters. That's, that's a good foul. Is that on Garza? No, it's not. That's not going to be. They're not showing him, so that's not going to be on him. But this is a good start. Get likes going to the rim. Let's make a couple free throws. Uh, I think that we could pull this off again. And they had a big upset, too. They beat San Diego State, who was the two seed. Malachi Flynn obviously was huge for their san diego state this season so i was coming in looking good too so and if we win this in the elite eight so i was looking at the bracket gonzaga is the one seed they're still in it and they're facing four seed oregon so regardless it's gonna have to be another upset man that is tough but i feel good about this guys when you watch the last game you know we had that tough one against seton hall and we were able to pull that off so i feel like uh, I th feel like uh, getting things under control here. The offense is looking good. And I feel like if I could stop Seton Hall and slow them down, that if I can just... Oh, well, I need to get that rebound. Rebound. Oh, my goodness. Man, that's tough because that's not even Garza. So we need to make sure the other guys don't go off either. But there we go. We are shooting it every time. I know, I, I know you might want me to swing it a little bit, but... We are going to pull threes with all three of our guys, with Likes, McGusty, and DJ. And then, oh my goodness, Garza. Yeah, we're going to try and just foul him all the time. He's driving right by our guys. We need him to get off to a slow start, and this is not what we want. He's drawing fouls. He's kind of doing what he wants out there. But, man, he was so good for the Hawkeyes this season. Just a really good player, really fun to watch. So... I was actually uh, I was actually excited. This was the matchup I wanted. I wanted to see how good he was in this game. His rating's like a 95, but and uh, and Sandy, oh, what am I doing? There we go. That's not how you want to draw up the press break, and that's not what the shot we are looking for. That was not a good sequence for us. Dang, we are down eight to five. It's early, but they're scoring too many points. We need to tighten up on defense. We just need to tighten up. I'm worried about Garza. And there's no way that's going. Okay, yeah. Fade away baseline jumpers. We'll let them shoot that all day. And we need it. There we go. Pull up. Oh, my goodness. I felt good about that. I felt good about that three-pointer. His stamina is good, so he shouldn't be tired. But, man, that wasn't even close. We need to keep this thing going, guys. Your support has been great, and we're just going to keep this thing going as long as we can. See how long we can last in the tournament. I know it was a tough year for the Hurricanes. They didn't make. They wouldn't have made the NCAA tournament, and I don't know what that was. DJ's just standing out of bounds, and I threw it right to him. Man, that is that is not the tournament plays we need, especially in this big game. You know, Miami's been to the Sweet 16, uh, but they've never made it past the Sweet 16. So we're trying to make school history here and get them in the Elite Eight. That 2013 team was great. That was. That was honestly, that was one of my favorite uh, experiences from having covered the Hurricanes. 
And, uh, you know, I went to the ACC tournament that season, uh, covered that, and they won that. They had that epic game against North Carolina. And then they go to the Sweet 16. So, yeah, that was that was a great time. And I thought and they, they lost their uh, in the Sweet 16 to Marquette. But I thought they had a team that they really, you know, one thing about that team that was so good was just their all-around balance. Um, obviously the experience, but they, they fit well together. And Shane was really good. Obviously, there's Chris Likes. That's a nice move. A little bit of a hezzy, and then he gets in there inside the lane on some crossovers around the high, behind the back. So Likes is off to a good start. We we can't get him off to a slow one, that's for sure. So I, I need to make sure my guys are healthy, and I I think I think that's the the key is just to find breaks when I can early uh, in a half. That is a tough shot. I'm hanging in there, only down 12-10, but it's tough because when you're down or you're trying to build a lead early, you just want to keep your best guys in there. So, I, But I've got to have confidence that my bench guys with Harlan Beverly and Isaiah Wong, uh, even the post guys, either Anthony Walker or Sam Wardenberg, and then I, I know you guys like seeing Dan Gack out there. So, uh, But real quick, hey, shout out to Earl Timberlake. Uh, he's, he went ahead and signed. I think you guys saw the video. I put something together real quick. And when I when I made that video, Earl, you know, one thing that I was thinking about, it was like I, this, this series ends after the Final Four. You know, other ones are going for the Dynasty and stuff like that. But maybe depending on how this goes and, and everything else, maybe we'll do a Dynasty start with that 2020-21 season with Timberlake and then Matt Cross. I, he's already ready to go on the game. And Nicere Brooks. Um, so we, we might have a nice little squad next year. Um, so we'll, we'll see. It, uh, Earl definitely was was fun to play with in that, that inner squad game. So I know you guys like that. So, man, I am just – I'm focused, but I feel like I need to lock in. We're at 12-12. We're about, about midway through the first half. Yeah, we need to make some subs. I would have liked, I was trying to get those guys out earlier. But Miller, you know, they just didn't have the, the they just didn't make the subs. So. But I need to make sure oh, we're hitting that. Oh, my goodness. Man, my offense needs to get going. We need to just just stay out in front. I always, whenever it's like a huge game like this, like I'm okay if I'm down, but I'd much rather be in the lead, comfortable, and that is terrible defense. Man. That is rough. Let's get another one. There we go, Sam. We don't get many dunks, so I like that Sam could put one down. I like that Sam got it down. Five for eleven. That's solid. Uh, we'll take it. Uh, I just, I just, I, I don't know. Fourteen points. I feel like we should have a little bit more. Let's rebound that. And let's go. I always like running with this team. Try to catch them off guard. We're pulling that. Oh my goodness, I'm getting these open looks. That's why I feel like it should be better than 5 for 11. Yeah, let's get him out. It's not that, that McGusty missed a shot. It's nothing like that. It's just that uh, I need to make sure he's he's healthy for the, the stretch there. Block. Oh my goodness, what a move. Okay, we. Oh my goodness. Oh, these offensive rebounds. I thought I was going to have that block, but he did that move. That up and under. I don't know where that came from, but... We just gotta be ready. Whoa! Chris is trying. Chris is trying to dunk on the whole squad. Man, that would have been epic if he got that down. I really want to see Chris likes dunk in a game. I would have loved to have seen that one. I didn't even think his ratings were good like that. I didn't even know where that came from. But this is the NCAA tournament. Maybe that's where it came from. He is hyped to be in the tournament, and he's bringing it all out. I know you guys would want to see Chris pull out a dunk in the NCAA tournament in his final season. We'll see how that goes, but yeah, I know Coach Larnag is excited about his group. Thinks the pieces. I think the pieces will fit fit well for next year um, with the the guard, the mix of the guards. And I think I think you guys are gonna be excited to see Brooks in action. Oh man, getting blocked. I think you guys are gonna like what he brings to the table. He's been in the NCAA tournament three times in his career at Cincinnati. McCusty has been so huge in this tournament. He's averaging 21 points a game. He leads us. And scoring, and look at him just hitting jumpers. We wouldn't, we definitely wouldn't be here if he wasn't hitting like that. So we got Harlan Beverly, Anthony Walker coming in. Sideline inbound. So we're making moves. Let's we got We got three minutes. Three minutes before the half. Just finish strong here. 
Oh my god, we gotta be able to make that pass. We can't get that tipped. They're sitting in a zone. Oh, maybe I should have. I had a jumper there. We're at the three minute mark. Whoa, now what am I doing? We can shoot. Oh. The ball carrier can't escape. Great defensive trap there. They're like, That's almost textbook, guys. Yeah, what we'll swing that? it around like that. I felt like there were, I know you guys probably thought so too. I thought there were more opportunities to take shots and jumpers in there, but I was getting a little anxious and I wanted to make sure I took a good shot. So that, that 7 for 19 for them is what I like. The That's not a good percent. We'll take that. Oh, lane. Garza. The Man, junior. he's tough. He only has six points, but made both of his shots, made those free throws. So we're we're definitely we're definitely holding him down pretty good though, to be honest with you. But I know he has the he has the capabilities of oh we're trying to get a get a steal there. He has the capabilities of of going off, so we just have to make sure we stay tight on him whenever he gets the ball. We'll let these other dudes shoot the ball. I, they got good players though. Iowa had a great season. Uh it's too bad. I think they would have been fun to watch in the tournament. The Man, we can't be mi keep missing threes. But we're in the lead. I don't know. Like I, I don't feel like these guys are super tough. But I feel like we should have more more points than this. And only two point lead. I don't know. But we got to get this thing going. Like, like think about the second half. What I've learned the last two games is they tighten up on defense. They make their shots. Like they're super tough. And uh, this won't this won't be easy. We've got to what? Man, the only thing stopping us, the only thing helping us from stopping him is the Iowa offense. They're not giving them the ball nearly enough because whenever they give it to him, like he makes all these all of his shots. And I can't guard that. There's that Chris likes dunk. Man, if he would have made that, maybe we'll. May, you know what? Maybe he's got another one in him this game, or if we can win, maybe he'll he'll he has one later though so I want to get my subs right here sometimes it's hard to make the subs on the fly so I gotta call timeout just to like kind of regroup and so I'm not going a couple minutes with with the bad lineup in so but we're gonna take Chris out just for a little bit get him a breather I feel like he was missing some shots that we need to make so we're putting Beverly at the point uh, Isaiah's a little tired so we're, we're bringing him in then we got DJ back so maybe we get some threes off DJ playing that tight defense. Man, I know DJ is just kind of waiting around. Like, hopefully, he's waiting, you know, like everybody waiting. But I know he wants to start his pro career and wherever that ends up. But he definitely had a good a good career at Miami. Over a 1,000 points. He was second in school history and three points, three pointers made. Oh, we're making that. There we go. That was sloppy, but we got it. So, I know DJ wants to get this thing going. But he, he'll, he'll be ready whenever, whenever he can... Uh, whenever all this thing clears up, so 22 up. All right, we gotta this final minute. We gotta play tight. On the left side. Man, these these fans are distracting. Fire. I'm not gonna lie. He get the it. crowd animations are great. Everyone's hyped. Everyone's standing up. Oh, we want that bucket. Top of the key. Uh, well, I, maybe I should have shot it with Keith. We'll finish. Oh, look at that. Ah, Woo, yeah. that was nice. Augusty 11 points. He's having another big first half. We're gonna take this lead into halftime, hopefully. Only up two. Only up two. All right, let's play tight defense. That's on Rodney. Is that his first or second? We can't get him in foul trouble. Just one foul. We'll take that. I wasn't sure if he got one early, but yeah, that we'll take that. There's Garza, eight points. Man, that three for three. All those buckets are impressive. Now he's making all of his free throws. Yeah, the big thing was we just can't let him shoot the ball. So, because it went, obviously he hasn't missed yet. Look at that. Made that. 24. Okay. We still got to get the lead. We got to quit doing that pass. That is not in the play call. Whoa. We just got ripped from behind. All right. Got eight seconds. I want that steal. Oh, get him. Oh, we got, we were back too far. Dang, he made it. They're just taking advantage of our mistakes. Going underneath the screen. We're down 26-24 at halftime. I was feeling good. I still feel good. You know, my guess he's got his 11 points, I think. But, dang, only 24 points. That's a nice dunk by Sam. 
How those offensive rebounds and Garza's making everything. Shooting percents are right at the same. I would not have guessed that. It feels like they're making more, but yeah, Garza 10 points. I don't know, guys. I I I think we're okay, but I don't know. We we gotta have gotta have a good uh, good second half. Good start would be helpful. There we go. Get DJ going a little bit. I know I usually only shoot threes with them, but anytime he's got like a, a jumper, just a inside the arc there, like I'll go ahead and shoot it. Maybe that'll get him going. So a little bit more comfortable, a little confident. Our defense is oh that I don't know how that worked. The offensive rebound though, they're getting every loose ball. We need to cut that off. There we go. Yeah, get DJ going. Get DJ going. I like that. That's a quick five points. That's a good start for him. That's a lot better than that first half when he was standing out of bounds. Playing good defense. That's good. We got to block that. Dang, Rodney. We have got to be able to block that shot. Oh, I hate when they do that. Yeah, that was a careless mistake, but I, I hate when they... Yeah, we're going to take that right back. He throws it up from downtown. I love that pull-up three-pointer. Looking like Steph Curry out there. I like that. I like that. But yeah, we're going to gamble a little bit here in the second half. Our fouls are down, so I'm going to try to rip the rip him up top. He's a little bit different of a point guard than Miles Powell. So, you know, with Miles, I had to, like, be patient. I, I knew I, if I did that, he was just going to uh, go to the rack every time last game. So, but I, I'm going to go ahead and challenge them there. Shooting a left-hander shot. Somehow that went in. I'm hang. We are up six. Quietly, we're up six. Stretching it out here. I liked it. It was tight the first half. We're we're scoring though. DJ had those points. I like this. Oh, I wanted that steal. Oh, we got that loose ball. Did Chris likes get a block on there? I like. Oh, hit that. He strokes it. Oh man, these open threes. We need him to go down. Up by six. Eight minutes left. We're doing we're doing good. Our defense is a little suspect at times. I feel like they can kind of get what they want, but they're just not going to Garza enough. Can we block that? There we go. We're getting some blocks in there. I want to shoot a three. I want to shoot a three. There we go. We are up nine points. Just like that, we're up by nine. I'm loving that. Are we going to go to the Elite Eight, guys? I always look ahead. I know it's not the thing to do and all that stuff, but I always get excited and look ahead. I feel like we're going to do it. We're on a roll right now. Yeah, they their defense isn't too too strong because we're, we're making a lot of shots and, and kind of even the ones we've missed, some of them have been just wide open misses, so feel good about this yeah are we gonna face Gonzaga Gonzaga was the team I watched like most of their games this season and man they're they're really good and I know that if I face them in the lead eight here they're gonna be really tough because they've got the big thing about them is they've got the the all-around uh, scores at, at every position um, so and Pertusa was was really good this year uh, kind of emerged as a season, er, you know, early on you could tell, and he had the year last year where he showed flashes, but yeah, he emerged as their their top guy. So I know they're going to be tough. If but Oregon, you know, I San Diego State went down. Anything can happen in the tournament. I don't know who we're going to face. They don't show you uh, the brackets until after the game or before you start the next one. But we're up 12 points, 40 to 28. This is great. I can't believe it. I think we might be going to the Elite Eight. We just need to finish this thing off. And because we're up 12, like I said in the first half, I want to get these guys some rest. So I'm going to take these guys out and put all five bench guys in and just let the, the starters sit and just, you know, I know I probably won't build the lead, but I think I can hold them off for at least a couple minutes. I don't want it maybe like five points. I, I'd start to get a little nervous. Five or six, but... If I can keep it, you know, obviously closer to 10 would be great. Well, that's not, that's all right. We'll take a foul. So 651, yeah, by five minute mark, if I could keep these guys in, that'd be great if I could buy, because then 
I, I'd feel comfortable that the starters would be pretty much healthy all the way the rest of those, uh, the rest of the half, and even if it's close, I feel like I could stretch it out just like I was able to here. So these are a big couple minutes though, but I'm excited to see what these guys can do here in the tournament. Got some freshmen out there with Isaiah and then Beverly, so I, I can't. I, it's a little risky to be, be shooting a lot with Sam, but he has showed me something in these tournament games. See, he's wide open there on the baseline. Yeah, I wanted to shoot with... I'd rather get closer and see if I could even draw a foul there. That's a charge. Yep, that's good defense by Harlan Beverly. Are you guys excited about, you know, Harlan and Isaiah? And Anthony Walker even, you know, like, are you guys excited about these freshmen? How they're going to be the next season? Oh, that was a bad play. I hit the wrong bud. I got to shoot that. Now I'm turning the ball over. Can we block? Oh, Garza with the big dunk. Man, eight-point game. Okay, we got six minutes left. Can we get another minute out of the subs? We can't be, we can't be turning the ball over because they're going to take advantage of everything. I can already feel it. Oh, that's a good shot, though. That's a good shot. It was close. So we need to get back, though. Oh, what's he doing? I like that. I almost got a steal when he was looking at the coach to get a... Oh, that's not the coach. Coach is on the other side. I don't know what he was doing. Heard something from the fans. Anthony. Oh, I was trying to throw an alley. You turned into a little layup thing. Yeah, that did not turn out the way I wanted. All right, we need to make sure we get a stop here. Block that. Yep. Nice. Here they go in transition. And one. Nope. Dang. And one would have been nice. But that's all right. I keep looking at the score. It's tough to, to play and and have a little bit of nerve. Not nerves, but just always paying attention to it. I just need to, to play, though. There we go. We need these free throws. Yep. Got them both. There we go. Just keep it inside the blue there. I'm getting used to the, how the free throws are working. I need to make all the free throws, especially here in the second half. Especially if I have the lead and they're going to foul to try to get back into it. Uh, we'll, we'll take all these fouls. That's all right. Yeah, nobody's in foul trouble, but let's get it's time. It's time, guys. Let's get the starters back in on the next possession on offense. It was about what I wanted with the, the five-minute mark. And so it's nine-point lead. Let's see what it is when they're when we get going here. So, yeah. So lead went from 12 to eight, but I was able to buy some time with the start for the starters, and they're all healthy, and I feel like it's going to be to my advantage. They work the perimeter. Takes the medium yeah, there we go. I like that. That's a perfect example of, of being able to knock down a shot when your guys are are healthy there. And the, the full bar and stamina. So that was good. So I was I'm gonna shoot it. I feel. I feel good whenever Chris can get a shot off. Uh, that's good defense. Throwing it off the top of the backboard. We'll take that. We will take that for sure. Get by him. Oh, get by. That's tough. That was tough, but... That's the jumper. See, that's again, again, that's just what I was talking about. He was healthy. I almost forced a jumper early in the possession, but... Yeah, I know that, that that's not an ideal shot at the top of the key. You'd rather be a little closer, but when he's squared up, I'll, I'll take it. Long two-pointer, we'll take it for sure. Up by 12. Yeah, rebound. Our offense, our defensive rebounding is really suspect this game. We are not – this is road to the Final Four. This is not road to the Elite Eight. If we are going to go to the Final Four, we are going to have to rebound the ball better. And I know it was a huge issue for the team this season. But we're gonna have to figure something out, and I, I don't know if we need to play zone and or, or get a different guy in there or what. But I don't know what we're gonna do. But we've got to rebound better. I'm already thinking about the next game, but I want to get to the Final Four. I don't want to settle for the Elite Eight, and I know that Miami, the 11 seed, anything is gravy to to get there and all that stuff. And now I'm missing free throws. Man, this isn't good. We need to make this one. Did I make oh, okay, barely. Man. So we're up eleven. Up eleven. We'll 
We just need to stay out in front. They're going to start shooting threes, though. I, they've got three-point shooters. And Garza can shoot threes. Gussie, 15 points. He had 11 and a half times. A little quiet in the second half, but we still have three and a half minutes left. He can go off at any time. I'm not worried about him at all. He's been great. He's having a huge tournament. But we need to close this thing out. We need to we need to get this win. Oh, Garza. Yeah. Doesn't feel like he's missing very much. Oh. See, I'm getting... I gotta. I have to think about this, the time and score again, but it's hard not to be aggressive. That's a good block. Rodney Miller with a good block. Yeah, Rodney. Rodney had that interesting thing with his career where he redshirted in the middle after playing a couple years and redshirted and then came back last year, full-time starter. So now he's got a, that full year under his belt and he'll be back. So. I'm sure he he was excited to to get in there with the playing time because those first two years had to been you know wasn't playing. Oh, uh, we'll take that steal. And now now he's there. Uh, got plenty of minutes. That's good. That's good. We're okay. I'm okay with that shot. You know, hopefully that goes in next time. But we just gotta play defense. I feel like we had that. I feel like it slowed down a little bit. Oh, they're missing. See, maybe they're a little bit tired. I don't. I'm not quite sure, but we need to get some more points in here. Yeah, you can foul. Oh, I need to make my free throws this time. Not one for two. Certainly not zero for two. I need to make them both here. We need to extend this lead. Thirteen points. It's good. There we go. That's one. He's got fourteen. We're up by 12. I feel good about this. Two and a half minutes left. Still a lot of time, though. There we go. That was close. I almost missed that one. So I needed both of those free throws for sure. Garza, 12 points. Yeah, he only has two in the second half. Yeah, we're gambling on those steals for sure. We need to keep it going. Is that going in? Oh, my goodness. What a huge play. I was willing to take free throws, but that's even better. And ones are tough in this game, especially for the guards. I don't know what that lob was, but he, he caught it, got his feet down, threw something up there. Oh, my goodness. Missed the heck out of that. Threw that right off the... Oh, there we go. They're falling apart. We're going to get this win. We're up 15. I didn't even realize we're up 15. Let's get another one. And they keep fouling. See, we are just going to the line easy. Seven for nine? Well, that's okay. We'll take that for sure. I can make both of these. There's one. Up by 16. Guys, I did not see this coming. I did not see this coming at all. Half First half was really close the whole way through. And somehow we're up 17. We put those clamps down in the second half. And they haven't been doing anything at all. So we're going to go to the Elite Eight. This is unreal. Making school history here. Oh, Luke Garza. Nope. He's been off in the second half. The squad is looking nice today. Are we ready for Gonzaga, though? I don't know. I don't know. They're going to be They're gonna be tough. But I think we're ready. Let's. Um, he's just trying to add to his, his total here. But we're up by 15. I'm just going to keep shooting. Oh, they, they put on that double team there. I'm trying to shoot, trying to keep this thing going. Oh, I, <laughs> I'm trying to shoot fadeaway jumpers. Don't matter. That did not work. That's not, yeah. Man, he's been off. I mean, he's been off second half. Woo-wee. Look at that. Yeah, when you're up big, you just shoot, the, shoot it from wherever. Oh, they're shooting. Hey, we're up 15. Can we win by 20? That'd be great. We are at the one minute mark. I don't know. Oh, pass it. I want to. Uh, I was trying to hit pass, but it, but I already hit the shot button, so it made me shoot it there. I saw him out on the baseline, though. Yeah, they're missing everything in the second half. I don't know what happened to them. Our defense is tough. If we can play tough defense like this, we might be going to the final four, guys. Turnover. They'll go the other way. You can't defend that, though. We are doing good. 
and our offense was pretty good. Yeah, we're drilling threes. I like this. How we had a good balance with our guards. It's still it's tough to find buckets for the post guys, but that's all right. If they rebound like that right there with Keith Stone, and Rodney plays good defense with some blocks. Yeah, I'm just pulling everything. Look at us. I did not see this coming at all. And oh, can we get another one? I want to get a dunk. Oh, I wanted to dunk. 21 point lead. This is crazy. He shoots from the top of the key. We won by 21 points. We are going to the lead eight. Guys, thank you so much for all your support. This has been great. Man, I can't believe we did it. You guys were great. I can't believe this. This is unreal. Chris likes 18.6 assists. Look at that. Had a big game. We are going to the Elite Eight. I think we might go back to the green uniforms. We've been switching it up, so maybe we'll just switch it up again. We'll go with the green. It's Coach Laranega. So yeah, got that win. Look at us moving on, and we'll see who we have to face. But I, I have a feeling it's going to be Gonzaga. They're really good, and uh, yeah. So again, guys, thanks for all your support. We'll keep this series going. It's road to the Final Four. Hopefully, we can get there and, and make some more history for the Hurricanes. And uh, yeah, this is this is great, and it's great seeing all the all the plays. Everything's looking good for Miami. So. If you want to follow me on Twitter, at InsideTheU. If you want to follow our website, go to InsideTheU.com. And make sure you hit up the Facebook page as well. So thanks again.